With GeForce now getting God of War, we thought we'd put the priority tier up against Boosteroid. So can you tell which one is which here? Both are 1080p, both on high settings, both looking exceptionally good here at 1080p. It's very hard to tell the difference, even though I know which side is which. So GeForce now is actually the one on the left here, and Boosteroid is the one on the right. You can see that as we run down here, this long straight path, we see a bit of stream compression in the fog on both systems, so this seems to be an issue with the browser compression in general. Both have a bit of stutter, they do not hold a steady 60 frames per second. In fact, both of these get some pretty hefty frame dips, which we didn't see on the GeForce Now 3080 tier. So the priority tier on GeForce Now suffering some of those issues. As we come full screen then with GeForce Now to start, you can see the Steam overlay up in the top left. It does hold 60 for the most part, but when we see a bit of that stutter, we do see the frames there drop down into the 40s and 50s. So that is a hefty drop, 20 frames per second in some of those battles, and it does feel it. And you do feel those jitters and drops in the game as well, especially in the movements. And in some of those animations, it just doesn't feel quite right. So it's a bit of a shame that the priority tier has such big dips, even just on the high settings, and you would expect it to be a little bit better here. So I guess if you wanted to hold those higher frames, then you could go down to the original settings. As we switch over to Boostroid, once again, we're seeing that 60 frames per second, and then we get a few of the dips down. Not as high as the dips on GeForce now, but you still see those dips. Quality-wise, it's very close between the two. I think the browser streaming compression definitely takes a hit for both of them here. Using the app for either Boostroid or GeForce now will give you a bit of a smoother experience. Input latency-wise, I was using a Series X controller for both of these, and I didn't have any issues with either. As we come back side by side then, with a battle on each, we'll see a bit of those jitters even in the battles on both of these. So pretty even across the board. Both of these are around $10 a month, depending on your region. However, Boostroid is not available in the US yet, despite them saying that it's coming soon. Let us know in the comments below which one you think looks best here. It really is too close to call in my eyes. So really, I think it's probably going to be down to your region and what your best connection is going to be here. GeForce Now definitely has the better integration for the accounts, as you will need to sign into Steam each time on Boostroid, which is still a pain, but hopefully they get that resolved soon. So GeForce Now only really has the convenience over Boostroid in the browser. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming, and we will see you next time.